Electronics. This time we're going to see the component LED. It is kind of a hot shape. Uh, here you cannot see it very well, sorry for the camera. It's kind of flat in this side. It has a short leg which has to go to the, positive, to the negative end. And here we've got our trusty simple circuit. We're going to connect it like so. You can see when the negative end is connected to the negative side of the battery, uh, the LED lights up. If we were to switch it the other way around, it doesn't light up. Okay. We do need the resistor in order to control how much current flows through the LED. If we were to remove the resistor, we, we might blow up the LED. Okay. You can see actually this and tricolor light emitting diodes or LEDs light up in a particular color depending on current flow direction. The basic bicolor LED has two terminals and the LEDs are connected back to back, anode to cathode. The terminal that is made positive determines the LED that lights. If a positive voltage is supplied to the green anode, then the green LED lights. If positive voltage is supplied to the red anode, then the red LED lights. With the two terminal system, only one LED can light at a time, limiting the device to only two colors. In the three terminal LED, the LEDs share a grounding cathode. Like the bicolor LED, a positive voltage connected to an anode lights the LED. When the wire connected to the green anode gets a positive voltage, the light turns green. When the wire connected to the red anode gets a positive voltage, the light turns red. However, because the two anodes are wired separately, it is possible to apply positive voltage to both wires. In this case, the LED gives off a third color, a mixture of the two. This color is often an amber color. 